The new year is here, and that means conference play begins in the CIAA. Contenders and pretenders will soon separate themselves, but a team to watch in January, the Fayetteville State Broncos. Coming off a 19-10 season, Coach Alfonso Key's team is currently 6-4, but they've been playing with a connect-the-dots lineup so far. I have not had my whole team together uh, for a regular season game uh, with a couple of injuries, um, Anthony Shelton, uh, Marquette Hill, uh, Quentin Underwood's been out, and um, Juwan Ashton just, he's been in the game, uh, but had a splint, so um, we're definitely, um, uh, of a grading scale, I would definitely say in the B, um, but for us to see the complete group together, um, it'd be tough to evaluate, but we're in the right direction. Good health and consistency in his lineup should result in total chaos. We want to make sure that the defense you prepare for every day in practice when you set, we don't want to see. We want to go when you're with five on four and a half, three on two, or going full pace. And we call it a whole match of total chaos. Um, and, and that's just for 40 minutes, cause chaotic, chaos with controlled. And in the acronym, we talk about character, humility, attitude, obedience, and success. Um, so we want to have a total chaotic atmosphere for 40 minutes of controlled um, confusion. Through the first 10 games of the season, guards Carl McRae and Joshua Dawson lead the team in scoring at 15 points per. And Dawson's leadership keeps things together on the floor. He's the one that's played in school history at Kinston High School. Go down the line of pros from Stackhouse to high major guys at Dawson and Wigan, the whole nine. Um, so, um, he is excited and willing to learn to bring everybody up to him because he's in a unique place. He started four years or three or four years in high school when he wants to win every jury. He wants everybody to play as hard as they can, every situation. So when he matures as he's doing and get everybody to elevate with him and he dynamically as a leader, as we all have to learn, He's going to be outstanding. No scouting report on the Broncos is going to leave out Mike Feet. The seven-foot junior is averaging nine points per game, but he leads the league with over four blocks a game, is second in field goal percentage, and seventh in rebounds. He's a guy that wasn't complete, but he worked hard. But we're excited to have him in the back of our defense uh, to protect our paint. The last two years, we've been in top of the league in field goal percentage defense. So he's a guy that allows us to press and make up for mistakes. Offensively, he plays above the rim. So he has three, three goals every game, um, to defend the rim, finish above the rim, um, and rebound the basketball. I think he's getting, getting it. And what's scary, he's putting in the work to get even better. But he's a great listener. Uh, he's a guy that does what you ask to do, and that sounds kind of simplistic, but in our profession, uh, sometimes guys have a little block, but he's a guy that I think can be elite defender. He runs the floor, he'll get stronger in the offensive game. He has a chance to play basketball making money one day. Including last season, the Broncos have been to two CIAA tournament semifinal games in the last five years. Could this be the breakthrough year. Guys have shown they're unselfish, they're dynamic and resilient, so we're definitely in the right direction. When we get there, I think we have a chance to be a top team, one top team in the league. I'm Tali Carr, HBCU Game Day.